Hello, hello, hello everyone. It's Jam from Media Jam. We're back with another video. Today we're going to try something a little different. We're going to be playing Super Mario Advance 4, which is a remake of Super Mario Bros. 3 for the Game Boy Advance, heavily based off of the Super Mario All-Stars game. But we're not going to play the game proper. What we're going to be playing today is actually the e-reader levels. Now, if you don't remember the e-reader, don't feel alone. A lot of people don't remember the e-reader. It was a failed accessory that Nintendo tried to release with the Game Boy Advance. And uh, for this particular game, they released cards that you would put through the e-reader that would give you special levels. Now, there were 30-plus levels released in Japan, but us here in America only got a select few. But luckily, when you purchase the game on the Wii U Virtual Console, which is what I'm playing this on, you receive all of the e-reader levels. So today, we are going to give those e-readers levels a shot and see what we can do here. Now, I've never played these. This is a first playthrough. We will see what's going on with them. Let's go ahead and get started here. Head into our game. I hope everybody's doing okay today. Really appreciate y'all taking the time to tune in and see what we got going on. Head on down to the level card here. And head in. Five lives to start. Classic World 1-1. One, one is the name of our first level. Go ahead and give that a shot. Let's see what we got here. Oh, this looks familiar. Oh yeah, we all know this level. This is definitely, when you say classic 1-1, one, one, what I think of for sure. Go ahead and get started here though. Go ahead and kind of fly a little bit through here. We know what we're doing. Grab that one up, head down the pipe. We can go backwards. Now, there are eight coins in these levels. I think uh, at least one per level for the most part, if I remember reading correctly. I would say most of the time they're going to be in these hidden areas, but we'll go ahead and zoom past here. Going for the top of the flagpole, which doesn't appear to finish the level. Okay, we keep running and finish level just like Mario 3. Grab the star. Level clear. So I get a feeling, since we know what 1-1 one, one was, that 1-2 one, is going to be a very similar situation. Let's see here. Absolutely. A remade version of the 2-2 from Mario 1 that we all know. Let's go ahead and grab our Fire Flower here, get ourselves good and powered up. Take out that Goomba before he even sees us coming. Go ahead and hit our 10 block here. Get that paper, make sure Mario can afford to get himself some nice things when he gets back from his adventure. Oh, chase our star. Do the run and slide there. See if we can find the one up up here. We did. Oh, but it's trying to go the other way, but no, sir. We will go ahead and take that anyway. Head into the pipe. Maybe our other eight coin for this level will be in here, and sure enough, there it is. Go ahead and pick that up. Go ahead and hit that tin block there, get all the coins we can handle. Head back out. It's kind of cool that these uh, levels kind of ease me in a little bit here with things that I already know. It does make me wonder what's going on with the, the warp zone up here, though. We'll give it a shot. Okay, there are pipes up here. Don't know what they kind of do. We'll go ahead and take the middle pipe, see what's happening there. Well, it looks like there's a treasure chest in here. We've got ourselves a fire flower for our troubles. Come in handy later. And that did finish the level. Okay. So classic 1-3. I get a feeling we know what's coming on here. Probably the treetop athletic level from Mario 1. And it appears that that is correct. Ooh. You know, those Goombas can slip up on you. You know, you get, it's easy to get cocky around Goombas and think that you're, uh, you're set up. But if you don't... Uh, Show the Goomba the, see, just like that right there. If you don't respect the Goomba, he won't respect you, that's for sure. Go ahead and grab that one. That's why we left that block alone, just in case I screwed up and had to come back for it. Go ahead and get a revenge on the Goomba there, take him out. Oh, almost slipped off the platform there. Almost doesn't kill us though, so that's not too bad. Oh, there's the acorn. That has to be it. 
Yeah, there we go. Use the turtle shell to collect. Go ahead and head to the top of the flagpole, see if we can't grab that one up. Get another star. Finish the level. 1 3 classic down. All right, let's see what Classic 1-4 is like. I got a feeling I know what, we, what we're looking at here. Am I the only one that just loves throwing fireballs all the time in these games? If I've got fireballs, I'm throwing them, that's for sure. Should have some Bowser fire, there we go. Knew it was coming somewhere. I always like to try to defeat Bowser if we can. Took him down. Grab the axe. Finish the level. Nice job, Mario. Grab the acorn while we're at it. Don't want to mess that up there. All right, one head to Classic World 2-2. Two, two. Now, if I'm not mistaken, this is a water level, and I'm here to tell you all, this is not, I repeat, not my area of expect expertise, but we're going to, Give it a shot. We have a fire, a fire flower, so I don't know too much that can kick us out right now. But let's see what we can do here. There's a blooper right here somewhere. The bloopers are my absolute worst enemy in this game. It's not a water level kind of guy. But we will do the best we can do here. Try to get them for they have a chance to get their footing, so to speak. That cheap sheet was booking it, man. You know what? Oh, and head back down. Sometimes, you know, if they're not bugging you, just leave. Whoa, whoa. I love the, the noises you make in the heat of battle sometimes. Let me grab some more coins down here. Watch out for the old cheap cheap. Take that one out. Keep on swimming. Keep on pressing on. Oh, he almost got us. Close but no cigar. Head to the pipe. To the end of the level here. See if we can grab the top of flagpole. One up again. I think we got it. We missed the top of the flagpole that time. But we went ahead and got the star. To get our five. Back. Well, I was going to finish up after the classic levels today, but you know what? This went so fast. Let's keep going for a little bit. We did miss the acorn in that level. We'll have to come back for that later. Let's head on to the next level. A wild ride in the sky. Now, I have no idea what to expect here, so this could eat up some lives. Let's see what's going on with it. Okay. An athletic level. We have the classic Mario 3 athletic theme. Oh, and now it's auto-scrolling a little bit here. Okay. That's okay. Nothing wrong with an auto scroller. Let's see if there's anything in here. Let's go ahead and take that raccoon power up here. Oh, it is booking it. Get on the moving platform here. Go ahead and knock down the Koopa Troopa. See what we can find in these. Another tail. Not too worried about that. Okay. Head up or head down? Let's head down. Ooh. Grab that acorn. That was a little, a little scary, but nothing. We can't handle. We are, in fact, Super Mario. Let's go ahead and grab him here. Oh, there's another acorn. Might as well grab it. Oh, there are multiple acorns in this level. Oh, we went for the acorn and it cost us. I'll be honest, I don't even know how I died right there. It's okay. Let's start over. Give it another shot. It doesn't auto scroll from the beginning, which is interesting to me. But uh, when it gets going, buddy, it goes. That is for sure. I don't know if any of you all out here has ever played these levels. I know I hadn't. Um, I never had an e reader as a kid, so. That was a hard thing to sell my parents on. You know, not only did they have to buy the Game Boy in the game, but then they had to buy an. I have no excuses for that, folks. Now, these acorns could get me killed if I'm not careful, but they're just so tempting. And they've already killed me once. Grab Mr. There we 
go. Get that acorn. I'm trying to play it a little safe here if I can. And we missed. Let's grab it. Whoa, it is scrolling fast again. But we got the acorn that time. There's one more. I don't know if we missed it or if it's still to come. Whoa. Okay, we got some bullet bills coming. Kind of shades of Mario World there. Oh, there's the other acorn. Oh, no, 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 no. Oh, no, we had it. I might just kind of skip over the acorns this time. I say that as I go for one. They're just so tempting. Right there in front of you, you know. Looking all tempting. Ooh. I was going to use the turtle shell to get my acorn. Almost messed that up there, but we kept it going. Ooh. You know, that acorn there is just too... Nope, it's not happening, guys. We will have to try for that one next time. We're going to try to beat the level instead, though. This is our fourth life on the level. Definitely want to start thinking survival instead of uh, picking up every last a coin we can find. Definitely doing a little better this time. Uh, you know, I should have jumped for Uh-oh. It's just when you don't have that tail, those bullet bills are something else, guys. They are something else. Oh, no. We're going to YOLO for it. We're going to go for it. Finish the level. Boy, I don't mind telling you, my hands are a little sweaty after that one. That one got kind of intense on us. But we were able to finish the level. Good job. Alright, so we are going to end this episode here. If you like what you've seen, let me know in the comments down below. Make sure to like, subscribe, share. Uh, I really appreciate everybody watching, coming to hang out with me. But until we uh, meet again, y'all have a good one.